Hey coach, tell me, have you ever been part of a game like that Logan County game yesterday ever before? I mean, down to your last out, last strike? No Never. Fun. Never. Um, you know, we were, we were confident, uh, even down a run, uh, with, with Gunner due up, with Percy and them new top of the order. We were, we were confident at that point. Uh, and we felt like, hey, we can manufacture a run here and at least tie this thing up and go to the ninth inning. But, no, I'll be real honest with you. Once the first two guys were out, once Stemley had no balls and two strikes, uh, I don't think anybody in the ballpark thought we had a chance. Uh, but give, give Nate credit. Nate stayed in there, took a pitch uh, off his elbow, gets on. And, uh, honestly, once we got to Clemens, I felt pretty good because uh, – you know, Clemens had only been shut out one time this year. Lexington Catholic, he was 0 for 3. But other than that, he has a hit in every single game he's played. And I mean, he was 0 for 3, so I really felt Clemens going to get a base hit here. Uh, thankfully, he did. They walk uh, Springer, and then obviously Hubs puts the ball in play. And, you know, they always say you need a little bit of luck, you need a little bit of help to win tournaments. I think we used every bit of it up in that first round, so now we've got to come ready to play tomorrow. But to answer your question, I have never in my life, either as a player or a coach, been a part of a game like that where you're down to your last strike. Nobody on base. I mean, sometimes you get to that point, but you already got runners on and somebody gets a hit. But for the bases to be empty, two outs and two strikes on the batter, we're still down to run. Never. I've never seen that. Talk about you had to go to Britt yesterday. Now the, the plan was to have him pitch on rest tomorrow against BRP. I mean, after Melcher pitches, now you had to go to him for an inning or two there at the end. Yeah, he what? threw two innings. Um, we're still, we were, we were going to make a call today, and he, he's come in today, and he's thrown a little bit. He said he definitely took care of it last night. He iced, he ran some, uh, and he says he's, he's good to start. So the plan right now, uh, and we could always change it tomorrow, but we'll, we'll make sure he's, he's good to go. And, and the plan is for him to get in there, and if we can get four or five innings out of him, that'd be great. And then basically it's all hands on deck. Everybody's in relief with the exception of Melcher, and he's not allowed to throw uh, based on the KHSA pitching rules. But uh, we'll start with Ben if he's still healthy tomorrow, and then basically it's everybody else in relief. And, you know, it's, it's surviving advance. So we had to win yesterday, and, and Melcher was done after six. Uh, Ben's our next, and we had to throw him in there. We didn't, we didn't want to end up losing to Logan County and not have Ben have a chance to, to compete. So uh, we got the job done, and now we just have to move on. And uh, we'll be scrambling the rest of the week, but that's okay. We've got a deep staff, and the deeper we go, if, we, if we're fortunate to get to Friday and Saturday, everybody's going to be scrambling, so we'll all be in the same boat. Talk about PRP. What's the key to this game? I mean, you beat them already this year 12 nothing. You talking about maybe getting some runs early on the board, getting your offense rolling after yesterday, no hit up to that last inning. Yeah, you know, we beat them 12 nothing, and, and I even made the comment after that game that that was, that was uh, uh, not a typical PRP St. X game. So, so we knew that, to enjoy that, but we knew that that was kind of an anomaly. That doesn't typically happen when these two teams get together, and I don't think that will happen tomorrow. I think it will be a close ball game. Uh, obviously for us, yeah, it'd be, it'd be huge to get some runs on the board early. If we can get some runs on the board early, I think then the bats will kind of relax a little bit. We won't press as much as we did yesterday. Uh, if, we, if we have several zeros up there, then you never know. Our guys might press a little bit again, and we could be back in one of those nail biters and one run ball game. But uh, if we can get some runs on the board early, I think some guys will relax, and then maybe that will kind of open the floodgates for us. And then obviously pitching and defense. Uh, you got to handle their running game. They're going to try to run at, at every chance they can. They're going to try to bunt. They're going to play small ball. Uh, you just got to be able to handle that. You gotta, as a pitcher, Ben's got to be able to handle that. And defense, we've got to handle that. Uh, because that's, that's PRP's game. You know, they're going to do a lot of little things. They're going to try to disrupt you. And if you handle them, you have success against them. If you don't, it snowballs and things get out of hand for you.